Moving along, second worst or best of the week uh, was Rumors. Rumors is directed by three people, but Guy Madden is the most memorable, probably. There's Evan Johnson, Galen Johnson, Guy Madden. And if you know Guy Madden, you'll know his style. I've reviewed a couple of his movies on here. I kind of like his style. Very quirky, very oddball, usually highly frenetic edited black and white generally he's, he's it very it's almost impossible to describe other than to say it's a very very unique and and specific style this movie doesn't have that look or feel at all i'll say that out of the gate so if you were to tell me you know when i didn't know hey this is a guy madden movie i would have said no way this is not a guy madden movie i've never seen a guy madden movie that looks anything like this i haven't seen all the guy madden movies so maybe that's me but everything i have seen from guy madden doesn't look like this. So it's got Guy Madden. It's got this real indie weirdo pe pedigree. Uh, it's got Ari, Ari Aster as a like a producer, I think, or a co-producer of this movie. And then check out this cast. Got the IMDb, IMDb pulled up for y'all. Yes, yeah, the Southern in me. Got Kate Blanchett, Charles Dance. Uh, you might know, not know some of these names, but you'll know them if you see them. Nikki Amuka Bird. Uh, I've seen her in a ton of things. Roy Dupuy, Denis Minoche, Ta Takahiro, or Takahiro Hira. Um, a whole, and it goes on and on. Oh yeah. And, um, uh, Alicia Vikander. So lots of indie cred and not indie cred in the cast as well. So especially Kate Blanchett. I mean, obviously she's and Charles Dance, both huge names. So what is this movie? When I first saw this coming out, I saw the trailer and I actually watched the trailer and I thought, wow, this looks like kind of like a hot mess. And it is kind of. The basic concept is you have the G7 and if you don't know what the G7 is, you can look it up. But it's basically the leaders of the main countries in the Western world every year for real get together and they try to come together and say like, what does, what do we need to do going forward? What's, what's, What's the, of, of the democratic power nations in the world? It's not a United Nations per se, but what is our goals? And when they do this, I guess it's not every year, but every so often they get together. I'm sorry, I'm not an expert on the G7. They get together and then they do this joint like kind of statement. This movie basically takes that premise. And all these leaders, and you've heard the names of most of them, are playing the leaders of these countries. You know, it's Japan, China, or no, China's not involved. Japan, Germany, USA, Canada, I can't remember all of them, probably not. England, France, Italy. I think I might have got all of them or almost all of them. I might have missed one. So basically it's, it takes the idea of them all sitting down. They're in this gazebo out in the, kind of in the German countryside next to like a manor, like a vacation place. But all of them are out there in this 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 kind of really fancy gazebo in the evening, drinking, eating, and trying to come up together with what this joint statement is going to be. And that's the setup. Earlier in the day, just to tell you, they had a little tour and they were shown that there was excavation nearby, digging up some bog people. Everyone has seen bog people, you know, the people that died, they were in a bog. They are preserved and mummified by that. They're kind of black and kind of covered in goo. Now in the previews, it looked like, wow, they're going to make this like a zombie movie with the G7. And that's kind of how it's pushed in the, in the trailer. And I will tell you, if that's what you're expecting, it really doesn't deliver on that because it's about 90% G7 satire, very, very gentle satire and 10% kind of supernatural sort of other in the fact that there's a couple of those bog guys just standing around moaning but not doing much there's also a this is also in the trailer there's a giant brain in the woods it doesn't amount to much so it's like there's these elements that could have been could have been surreal i suppose but it doesn't come out across enough to be surreal the best way i think is that they're just trying to they're trying to make this almost like a parable or everything's analogous in this like you know, the brain, what does that stand for? You know, the bog people, is that just like the poor, the commoners probably? Um, there's all the stuff with the different G7 members and every one of them has a characteristic, you know, and the characteristic is kind of like a characteristic of what that country is like. You know, the, the American president's always, you know, is old and he's falling asleep and he kind of thinks he knows what's going on all the time, but he really doesn't know what's going on all the time. And, you know, the 
the German leaders, you know, it's the whole thing about the Canadian leaders who are supposed to be like sexy and hot. And he's supposed to be like had an affair with the leader of England, but then maybe he's having an affair with the leader of Germany. It's like, and they have it really heightened, like kind of score. So very like melodramatic orchestral score. That's kind of a little bit, you see a little bit of that in Guy Madden. He does kind of these really outlandish, you know, over the top scores with his movies. But, it, and it, and I feel like what it's really trying to do, this movie I feel like is trying to kind of hit, hit the heights of like a Dr. Strange love where it's taken the, can I say it? Are we a family show? It's taken the piss out of like the highfalutin, you know, self-important government types in Dr. Strangelove and kind of turning it into a farce showing how foolish they are. And this movie is kind of trying to show how petty and silly and non-important all these world leaders are in their G7 summit. But the satire is just, at one point they even, they even point out like almost like a meta joke. Like one of them says something like, Hey, we're all acting like like we all represent what our countries are and we're all acting like what our countries are and it but it's just it's it's broad but in the most simple and not even i don't know it just it isn't very interesting <laughs> it doesn't get very incisive and i think that's the thing like if you're going to do a satire like this we should really be like wow that's just cutting that is cutting to the bone the real nature of the like silliness and pettiness of these international, you know, groups. And the closest they get is that they have this petty statement they make every so many years that go, comes to nothing. But it's such a basic statement. Final rating on this, uh, humor, comedy, it's tough. It's going to work for some people. This style and the way they're approaching the satire, for me it didn't. I honestly think that the vast majority of people, this is going to be kind of a big bore. And it was more in that category than the opposite for me as well. I think realistically, I'm going to go, ooh, I don't know, two stars. I mean, I, I feel bad doing two stars, but that's honestly about as far as I can go on this one. It just didn't, it didn't work for me.